Well, the pandemic has obviously taken a very big toll on small businesses, which is why we're visiting different spots each week to try and give them a boost. Yes, we're trying. And in our <laughs> small business spotlight today, Channel 3's Caitlin Francis takes us to another spot, Soto Optical in East Windsor. Rebecca Soto is finally seeing 2020 after her first year in business. You always say the first year is going to be the hardest, and it was definitely the hardest, but I survived. She opened the doors to her eyewear shop, Soto Optical in East Windsor, in January of 2020 and had to immediately close the doors from March until August because of the pandemic. It was still very slow. I think people just didn't want to come out. I know I didn't go out. Um, and now it's starting to, this year, starting to get pick up a little bit. She says what got her through? These safety glasses. So my mom's a nurse, and as soon as the CDC was like, um, you should wear safety glasses, it was on order for her. Soto took the safety glasses and goggles and gave first responders a more streamlined way to wear prescriptions. Now people are heading back into the optical store for their eyewear needs, including regular glasses and sunglasses people can afford. So I have this Macy's Marshalls concept where everything I buy is an overstock. So I offer it at 50% off. So just like you can purchase um, a shirt at Macy's um, for $80 and then find the same thing at Marshall's for 40, same concept. So um, I don't, um, I pass that discount on to the consumer. But more importantly, she says she wants the experience to be positive for her customers. It's no pressure. I really want them to come in and say, I love these glasses. And I want them to leave saying, I love these glasses. We sit. Even if we have to go through every drawer, we will find the perfect pair of glasses that fit you, that you love, and that works for your prescription. With the support of her family, who helped get her business off the ground, and her community in East Windsor and the surrounding area, Soto says the only place to go from here is up. <sighs> Hopefully bright and busy. In East Windsor, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.